Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Sasha Talia. If you are new here, welcome to my channel where I post videos of beauty, of makeup, um, lifestyle stuff that I'm kind of slowly getting more into, of like vlogs and everything like that. Um, so welcome if you're new here to my channel. If you do notice that sometimes when I'm talking, I may be out of breath and that's because I'm 24 weeks, so no judging because I can't breathe. But <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, let's get into today's video. I'm super excited. I got a few thumbs up on my last video on let's do box charm or you guys just like the video just cuz but I figured um, I want to show you guys what I got in my boxy Lux for the month of September I know there's only a few more days left of September then it's October and then we're on to a whole new box but you guys I really wanted to show you guys like what I got for this month and I did do like a sneak peek and stuff but some good items so, so yeah if you want to see what I got in this month's boxy charm then keep on watching I'm hoping the lighting is okay I'm in front of like a window and then I have some my like ring light and stuff so it's kind of cloudy today so you may see like some slight changes and stuff so I'm gonna keep playing with it but look at this big old box that we got from boxy charm um, I have no clue what the month what the theme of the month is so let's find out it says all access and it has a spotlight and stuff that's cute and let's count how many products we got in this boxy charm so we got one two three four five. so we got eight products in this month's box um you guys i will link down my like referral code kind of stuff if you are interested in boxy charm I think it's it's usually 21 bucks, but I think they may be going up to 24. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's videos out there that are showing like the different price changes and stuff. But um, I know this box looks is like 50, 50 bucks or so, and that one isn't changing, so that's cool because I don't want to pay more than what I'm paying already, like for 50 bucks and stuff. But anywho, let's go ahead and start pulling some stuff out. I'm gonna go over this stuff super super quick. Um, and then try to apply some of it because there's some things that I just want to put on my face and stuff. So let's get started. I'm just going to pull at random. So one of the things I was super excited, like I said, I did a sneak peek. And I got the Glow Recipe. Hopefully that looks okay. This is what the box looks like. Um, this is the bright, um, the Pineapple Sea, uh, Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. I can't talk. All right. So this retails for $49. Holy crap. So let's open her up. And oh, it's like a little, it's a little pineapple thing. How cute. Okay. So come on camera. So this is what the component looks like. It's a squeezy kind of thing on there. Um, that is to brighten and smooth the skin. Um, has vitamin C, natural HAs in it as well. So I'm super excited to try that. It does say like since it's a serum to use like you know um, in the daytime or like in the what does it say? Okay, so this serum it says apply daily, morning and night. I'm gonna apply this on my skin now and then um, apply foundation and stuff. But I'm gonna do that just a little bit later because I wanna show you all the products that I get. The next thing that I got in here is the Dr. Brent Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. So this is a sleeping mask. It claims to deeply hydrate, moisturize, reduce resinous signs of irritation, and locks in moisture to prevent water loss. So that is the box. And then this is, y'all, what the hell? This is $52. <laughs> this little thing is $52. What? How many ounces is this coming? 1.7 ounces. So it's a little bit more than foundation, but this looks really small. All right, I'm super excited to try this. My mom says she likes this stuff. So yeah, mama can be wrong or whatever. <laughs> so I can't wait to try that on the side. In. Next cute item we got is the Hank and Henry Slick With It. Um, this is a 
Blickety Black <laughs> Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. And this, um, the component's pretty nice. It's cute. Um, where is this at on here? This retails for 20 bucks. So we will be testing this out. Sorry if you can hear Benjamin. Benjamin, he's like, y'all probably can see him walking around in the background. <laughs> Anyways, that's just Benji for you. Um, the next thing I have is the Stila Cosmetics Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Angelo. Um, take this out of the component. And it looks like your pinky nude kind of deal. Um, this retails for $22. Y'all, this stuff, we got some expensive stuff in here. All right, next thing we have is the IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. Um, this is a leave-in conditioning balm for your hair. Um, you, if you have a dry, coarse, or frizzy hair, um, how to get it applied. I think there's a school bus. Apply to damp or dry hair, air dry or blow out. So I probably won't be using this today. I don't really feel like putting any new hair products. I'm not really ready to wash my hair yet. Um, but I did smell it. It smells so good. Like this stuff smells really, really good. And this is $29. Dang, and it's full size. Y'all, everything's full size in here. I feel like I just like keep on, <laughs> keep on going. I feel like BoxyCharm is like, the BoxyLux is like the Mary Poppins of, you know, the purses and stuff. Anyways, the next thing is the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. And this retails for $29. There's a lot of stuff in here that retails for $29.40. And yeah, that's expensive. So, comes with like a little paper thing. Don't need that, but these are the pretty colors that this palette comes in. So super nice you have, I really like this emerald shade, really pretty. Um, yeah, I can't wait to play with this. I've never had a Violet Voss eyeshadow palette, so let me know, let me know if you guys have ever played in Violet Voss shadows and if you like them. So we will see today if I like them, because I don't know yet. <laughs> and then, y'all, this, I seen this, I was like, oh my gosh, I pretty much freaked out. It is the Tark. Park Avenue Princess Palette. This retails for $45. Look how pretty this packaging is. Like really, really pretty and it's super, super heavy. Comes with a mirror, so that is awesome. And it has all these nice contour shades and stuff that I can set my, I'm gonna try to probably set my under eye, we'll see. I probably use the first shade that looks really light and stuff because I'm pretty pale at the moment. But um, and I feel like I feel like Tarte. Um, I feel like Tarte line. I feel like their stuff smells really good. Like maybe it's just me because I'm pregnant, but I don't know. I think it smells good. <laughs> and last but not least is a curling iron and this is a uh, what is this this is a striplet up oh, stripless oh my gosh <laughs> it's a clipless curling iron i say that's so country iron is a curling iron <laughs> oh my gosh so it comes in a baggie um i'm not gonna be curling my hair today because i just straightened it out and um, yeah, I, I like my hair straight. I'm going to curl it though. I'm actually thinking of doing a fall fashion kind of thing of like what I would wear for fall and stuff like that, or like give you ideas and stuff. So stay tuned for that. I like that this comes <laughs> back to this. I like that this comes with a baggie comes very protected. This is how many? This is a one quarter inch uh, curling iron. <laughs> um, feels lightweight. It is, 
It's from Sutra is a brand. So I will use this and I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But did I tell you guys the price on it? It's, um, do you want to know? <laughs> it's, oh, wait, I almost went over. <laughs> it's, um, it's $65. Yeah. I got a curling iron in my box of charm that I only paid like 50 bucks for. And this is $65. Wow. That is crazy. I can't wait to use it. I hope it works good because it's expensive and yeah, I, I'm excited to try that out. Um, yeah, I will leave my link down below. If you guys are interested and want to try it out, you can always try one box and if you don't like that box or anything like that, you can just cancel and don't use them again or whatever. But I really like BoxyCharm. I love getting makeup and trying new things that I feel like I can't go out and just buy because they cost money and I don't mind paying like one certain amount where I get, you know, to get my hands and try different beauty products and stuff. So let's go ahead and get with the little tutorial that I'm gonna do for you guys. Just something quick and easy and I just wanna play with some of this makeup. Honestly, I feel like <laughs> when I'm gonna be recording, I just hear a lot of noise and then like literally since I've been in this house, if I'm not doing anything, there's no noise. But when I'm, I'm recording, there's noise. <sighs> okay. Oh my gosh. So the first thing I'm going to do is try the Glow Recipe Pineapple Seed Bright Serum. And I'm just going to apply this. It smells like pineapples. Like, <laughs> like, I think that's a good amount. Yeah, it smells like a pineapple. It isn't, I feel like pineapple smell way better, but I feel like that almost smells like a pineapple that's like almost going bad. <laughs> that's so bad to say, but, all right. The feel of it, it feels very hydrating. There is a lot of slip on the skin. So um, I'm actually excited to use this. It says morning and night. So um, yeah, anything that is a bright serum and like hydrating and everything like that, I'm all for it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and I will be right back and we'll get into everything else. Okay, so um, I did my foundation and put on some concealer and stuff. So I'm gonna go with the um, Park Avenue Princess. This is the Chisel Palette. Um, kind of hard to read like this right here but um the shade that I want to go into is called princess cut and I'm just going to take a morphe m437 and hopefully this is an okay shade for me and I'm just going to go ahead and just start tapping that onto the skin If you guys got your Boxy Charm or your Boxy Lux, let me know what you got in it. I'm really curious um, to see <laughs> what um, oh, there's hair. To see what you guys got. I know there are so many different variations. Um, there are so many different variations of what you can get in the palette. <laughs> or oh my gosh. Oh, what you can get in your boxy charm and stuff and i seen one had like a water bottle thing and i was like please i don't wanna like i don't want to get that at all yeah i was like no but um so the next shade i'm gonna go into i'm actually gonna go into enhance i was gonna go into halo but i feel like now looking in the light, this one's more of a pinky tone and this one has more of a yellow base tone. And since I'm more like an olive skin, I feel like this yellow should be better, hopefully. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M438 brush and I'm just gonna set my concealer. I recommend that, that is bomb. I really like how my skin looks right now very like subtle and stuff so let's continue on <laughs> so the next thing i'm going to use is the violet voss essentials uh it's the pro series eyeshadow palette and let's see 
I am going to go in with the shade called Sand. There is a lot of kickback in that. <laughs> There's a lot of powder and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and just apply these to my uh, crease. Okay, next shade I'm going to take is Dusty Rose, and it's right below Sand. These do have a lot of um, powder, like kickback and stuff, so just be mindful of that. I'm putting this shade all over my lid, and let's see how these two shades work together because one is like... It's like the crease color is super orange, and then this one's so mauve -y, and I really like the mauve tone. The orange is really pretty too, but I like this mauve shade. Alright, so what I went ahead and did is just take Dusty Rose, that lid shade, and I just ran it in the bottom of my waterline. Honestly, you could leave the look like this and throw on some like falsies or just put on some mascara, but since we have a black liner I'm gonna do some black liner but I need to do it off of camera because it's gonna take me forever and I I you know what I used to be so good at doing liner and it's been so so long so I'm gonna save you the cringe and I'll be right back with the liner and how I feel about it okay y'all so I did my eyeliner with the Hank and Henry Blickety black. They weren't lying about the name because this is super duper black and I love it. It's actually one of the easiest like liners, like felt tip liners that um, that I've ever used. And it's just so easy to use. Like literally if you wanted to do that like cat kind of liner like in the inner corner and stuff, like this is like the liner to use. I really, really like this one. I think out of everything in this box, this is probably one of my favorites. And second favorite is probably the eyeshadow palette because I love that dusty rose shade. Next thing, um, the last item that I'm going to be trying out is the Stila Cosmetics in Angelo. And this is their liquid lipstick. So it doesn't, it has a like, I don't know, it just has like a regular smell to it. It doesn't smell like amazing, but that's a high, oh my God, that's super pink. Mm -hmm. This is definitely like not my shade. Oops. I put a darker liner on, lip liner. Not sticky, it feels comfortable on the skin. Um, I think once mixing it, it looks better than when it came on because it looks super duper like, it looks super duper like bright. And now it's like more toned down. Okay, I like it more now than applying it. Applying it, it looked crazy, but um, this is a really pretty shade, um, something different that I don't have in my collection and stuff. I probably would mix it with like maybe a darker nude or something like that. But um, yeah guys, this was my BoxyCharm. This is the look that I came out with using the products that I got. Some of the products I didn't use because um, I can use them off camera and stuff and then um, if I like them, maybe they'll be in a favorites video or something like that. So yeah, <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up as well as don't forget to comment something down below. Let me know if you got your BoxyCharm or if you're wanting to get um, your BoxyCharm as well. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, help a girl out and stuff. <laughs> yeah, so I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.